OMG, welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. I'm outside of the Walgreens. I told you I'd be back at Walgreens this week since I got a spend booster that didn't start until yesterday, Monday. It wasn't valid on Sunday. Uh, so anyways, I'm here to do uh, an amazing deal and I actually did a curbside order as well that I'm super excited to share with you and um, just show you a way that you can get some amazing savings. If you're new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. All right, we got a lot of things to go over in this video. So let's get in the store. If you enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's go grab some awesome deals. Happy Tuesday. I am back in the Walgreens getting ready to do an awesome in-store transaction and I have an awesome curbside transaction to share with you now that my digital spend booster is active since it didn't start until yesterday. Quick update on this deal that I did on Sunday with the $3 toothbrushes. Uh, I'm sure most of you already know the glitch is dead. They fixed that on Sunday. But we did learn some things along the way. Uh, you know, at Walgreens, or if you didn't know at Walgreens, there was a period of time where any digital coupon that was off of multiple products would only come off if you bought all of the exact same barcode of the product. You could not mix and match. And that lasted for like three dang months and they finally fixed it, although there are still certain coupons like that. Like when we get the five off of three Olay, if you don't get all of the same scent of the Olay, the digital coupon will not apply. It will online, but it won't in store. Well, based on the number of comments that I received, I'm guessing this $6 off four Crest coupon is doing the same dang thing. So you have to buy all of the same product to get that coupon to apply. And unfortunately, because this was a glitch that they went in and fixed, this has been happening week after week. Once they fix it, then the regular register reward that's supposed to print, that's not even printing anymore. So I'm not certain if the buy four earned back the $6 register reward if it's even giving back the $6 register reward at this point, but it wasn't once they fixed the glitch. All right, I told you I wanted to do the Listerine deal once that booster became available. So we've had these on promotion all month long, spend $10, earn back $5 in Walgreens cash. So for every 10 that you spend, you'll earn back $5 in Walgreens cash. My store only had two of the cool mint so i'm gonna get two of the cool mint at 9.99 and two of the fresh burst at 9.99 i'm gonna be using my spend 25 earn seven weekly digital spend booster and then i also have this spend 25 earn seven on skin hair and oral care that i'm also going to be stacking with it and both of those will stack together and because these are regularly priced, I'm gonna use this 20% off coupon. So these are $39.96 and my 20% is gonna take off $8 and that is a store discount, which will not count towards any spend requirement. So after that store discount comes off, that drops me down to $31.96 in product. So I'll be doing the spend 10 on Listerine, earn back the $5 in Walgreens cash three times. I do have this only for you $1 digital coupon, so I'll use that. That's gonna lead me to pay $30.96 for these products. I'll earn back $14 in Walgreens cash from my two digital spend boosters, $15 in Walgreens cash for the Listerine promotion. Then I'm gonna be submitting over to the Activate Rewards for $10 back and submitting over to the Ace Your Checkup for $10 back. I'll leave the link in the description box for both of these rebates. And I actually, I forgot to show you, but I have two $10 Walgreens gift cards that I had earned from the previous Activate Rewards uh, promotion that I'm going to be using in this transaction. 
So these four Listerine are gonna be an $18.04 money maker, which is incredible. But I have a paper spin booster that I also wanna stack with this deal, but I need to get up to $40. So I'm gonna add a couple of more products to this transaction. We have a high value digital coupon for the BIC. They are on promotion for buy three, earn back a $3 in Walgreens cash and they are buy one get one 40% off but I'm just going to grab this one for $6.99 my 20% will apply to this and that's going to take off a dollar 40 and then I'm going to use my four dollar digital coupon and then the last product I'm going to grab is my favorite toilet paper the Cottonelle we've got some smaller sizes that are actually on sale I'm just going to go for the biggest size my store has, which is the nine mega rolls, and it is regularly priced at $10. So my 20% off will apply and take $2 off of this. And then I have a $1 digital coupon. And I also have a rebate over on Shopkick where I'll, I'll earn another $2 back for buying this. All right, so I've got my Listerine, my Bic, and my Cottonelle. That all totals me $56.95, but my 20% off is gonna take off $11.40. So that drops me down to having $45.55 worth of product. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a paper spend booster to stack with the two digital spend boosters that I'm using. And that is spend 40, earn back nine. I could use Walgreens Cash if I did contactless payment. That's the only way to use Walgreens Cash with a paper spend booster. And if I built my transaction up more, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm still not gonna have a, like barely an out of pocket because I'm using those $20 in Walgreens gift cards. And then I'm gonna throw in some register rewards to help lower my out of pocket. So I'm gonna use two $5 register rewards and two $4 register rewards. With everything coming back, this is gonna be just over a dang $20 money maker, and I'm so excited that not only did I get the Listerine, but I got to throw in my favorite toilet paper. Now for this account, I'm also working with this monthly spend booster of spend 25 six times, earn back $50 in Walgreens cash. And you can see here, I still need two transactions to finish that booster. So this will give me one of those two and I'll finish it up probably next week. I have a video linked down in the description box where I walk you through how to find this tracking in real time so you can keep track of the digital, of the monthly boosters. I also have a video linked down in the description box where I walk you through how to use Walgreens Cash on any spend deal the correct way and still earn your Walgreens cash back. Okay, this transaction is a huge money maker and super exciting, but I got to tell you, the school supply deal is what's gotten me all revved up this week. I think this is such an amazing deal. So I did this on Sunday and we've got so many products that are on promotion for spend 20, earn back a $5 store coupon in store, or if you do it online, it's spend 20 earned back $5 in Walgreens cash. We've got some Ibotta rebates that are getting ready to expire for some of these products. But when I was in store on Sunday and I was scanning things on my app, I noticed there's some type of online sale that's not happening in store. And then I noticed something else weird. Okay, these eleven forty nine. The tag now says they're 25% off, which would make them 861 in store. It did not say that on Sunday. On Sunday, it said they were buy one, get one half price. Online, these are 599. And we have a $2 Ibotta rebate that says it expires in one day for the BIC intensity. Same thing with the BIC Revolution. In store, in my store, they're 799, buy one, get one 50% off. Online, they're $5.99, buy one, get one 50% off. And we have $2 Ibotta rebates for that one as well. Excuse me, not $5.99, $5.59. Same thing with like the Scotch packing tape. In store, it's $4.79, but it's showing online that it's on sale for $1.92. So like I said, when I was scanning products on Sunday, I noticed that. And my store, along with I think most other stores, will match online prices, but only if it's not on sale online. 
and on Sunday, I was wanting to use some register rewards and things. So Sunday night, I placed a curbside pickup on my other account for this amazing school supply deal. Now, a way to make this deal even more spectacular than it already is, is if you are not currently using Rakuten, sign up with my link down in the description box. When you spend $30 on an online order, you receive a $30 welcome bonus. I'm gonna go over that more at the debrief, so make sure you stay tuned if you wanna learn a little bit more about Rakuten and how you can make this school supply deal a insanely awesome money maker. Okay, I'm at the store where I placed the curbside order and I'm picking it up. And while I was here, I remembered I really wanted to grab some of these storage bags. They are buy one, get one. No, they're on sale for $2.79. Buy one, get two free. And with back to school coming, I really wanted to grab some sandwich bags, which it looks like my store is all out. And I, I didn't grab a cart, so <laughs> I'm just trying to film with holding my bag and then showing you the products. Anyways, I'm just gonna, these work just fine for storage bags. This store looks like it's pretty wiped out of a lot of the sale items. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab six of these that I wanna get. And on Sunday when I did the school supply deal, I did receive my $5 store coupon for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to pay for this. All right, let's head to the kitchen table. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this midweek Walgreens haul. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. There's Clarky. He's <laughs> outside. There's Tom. You don't get to see Tom very often. Anyways, let's go over this Walgreens haul. It was so dang fantastic. Oh my goodness. All right, so I went in store. Well, first of all, on Sunday, I placed the curbside pickup. So I wanna just explain just a teeny little bit about Rakuten. If you've never used Rakuten before, it is an online shopping tool, basically, and you earn cash back when you shop through, you go to Rakuten, you select the store you wanna shop at, and it redirects you to that company's website. So if you want to shop at Walgreens, you would click on Walgreens, it would redirect you over to Walgreens, you place your order, and then there it is. Now, right now, it is actually showing that there's no cash back available for Walgreens. It used to be like 2% or 3% back, and it shows that there's no cash back available at Walgreens. So I did send in a message to them to find out, even though you're not earning cash back for the purchase, if you did it as a new user, would you still earn the new user bonus of $30 back? So once I have that information, I'll post it over on the community tab to let you know. But I did want to mention Rakuten to you anyways. I haven't talked about it in a little while, but I've used Rakuten for years. So I took my girls school shopping and we went to the Nike outlet store. Donna could not find a pair of shoes that she liked in her size. And so we came home, she went online, looked online. So she found one that she wanted me to order her online. Of course, if I'm gonna do an online order, I'm gonna go through Rakuten. And since it's back to school, it's actually Nike was giving back 15% cash back on your order versus the normal, I don't know what the normal is, three to 5%. Um, so I earned back like $9 in cash back for placing that Nike order. Now Rakuten pays out once a quarter. So for anything that's purchased through the end of September, you'll earn that payout in November, which is awesome because it's right before Christmas. So the reason I bring it up during this haul is because if you are not currently using Rakuten, you're gonna wanna sign up with my link down in the description box. If you do not use a referral link, you will not get the $30 welcome bonus. You can go sign up for Rakuten without a referral link and I think it's just $10. So make sure you're using a referral link. And again, I will post on the community tab. But if you did this, this order that I did, you would have to actually add just a little bit more because I did use a discount code, but um, you would get, a, this was a, a money maker for me, and then you would get an extra 30 dang dollars. 
the cool thing that I always loved about Rakuten, and I always talked about it in my Walgreens videos, is you can use Walgreens cash to pay. You don't have to pay out of pocket. So that is a huge bonus. Now with this online order, I did not use Walgreens cash to pay because I was working with the store promotion of spend 20, earn back five. And I was working with that booster of spend 25 in select products, which include, include school supplies, earn back $10 in Walgreens cash. So I paid out of pocket. I never mind paying out of pocket when I'm getting diapers for my grandbabies, anything for my girls that they need, like back to school stuff, or let's be honest, anything that maybe I really, really want, I'll pay out of pocket. Um, so, all right, let's go over my in-store trans. Hang on, I gotta let Clark in. All right, he's now in the house, so there he is. Okay, so let's go over my in-store transaction, then we'll go over my curbside transaction, and something a little bit funny is happening, I think, with the sale prices. So I did the Listerine, the Bic, and the Cottonelle. So there it is, my Listerine, my Cottonelle, and my Bic. You can see my 20% took $11.40. Everything I bought was regularly priced. The cashier scanned the $40 points booster. Spend 40, earn back nine. I used those four register rewards. And then I had the $4 coupon off of BIC, the $1 coupon off of the Cottonelle, and my $1 coupon off of one of the Listerine. So just like I discussed on Sunday, register rewards have not attached to items in quite a long time. I think it's been about a year now. Um, so they don't kick digital coupons off. I purchased six products and I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coupons for those six products. So my subtotal was $21.55. I told you I was using those two $10 gift cards, plus I had like 30 cents left on another gift card. So I only paid a subtotal of $1.25 which was awesome. And again, my receipt never shows anymore what I earned back. I had somebody comment and say they changed that at the beginning of August that nobody's receipt now shows what you earn in Walgreens cash, but I've seen so many videos on Walgreens and it always shows what they earn it. My receipts have not showed what I earned in Walgreens cash for, I don't know, six weeks, eight weeks now. Anyways, you just pull it up on the app and you can see I earned back from this transaction $38.45 in Walgreens cash. Nine was for my paper spend booster. Seven was for my digital spend booster of spend 25 on anything, earned back seven. Seven was for my digital spend booster that was specific to oral care, hair care, or skin care for spending 25. And then I earned back $15 because I spent $30 on the Listerine. So that was $38.45 back. Submitted to Shopkick for $2 back on my cotton now. And then submitted over to the Activate Rewards for $10 and the Asher Checkup for $10. So this little transaction I earned $60.45 from where I paid $39.55 for this transaction. It was a dang $20.90 moneymaker. And I only paid $1.25 cash from my PayPal debit card and added back $2 from Shopkick. So that was awesome. I used those gift cards and I'll probably get more Walgreens gift cards once my um, receipts have been approved. So super, super awesome. All right, then, like I said, Sunday when I was in the store and I was pulling all these things up online, I'm like, wow, like there is some crazy online sale happening with a lot of these products. And so Sunday night, I went in and I did a curbside pickup order for the school supply deal. Now, when I was in store on Sunday, I bought these Big Intensity. They were $6.49, buy one, get one half price on Sunday in store. But online, they're like $3.49, buy one, get one half price. And again, I was wanting to use register rewards on Sunday and my store will not price match when it's a special online sale. But I was looking at that big pack, $11.49, and I was like, no, I'm not doing that big pack. And then when I saw the price online at $5.99, 
And I was like, what the heck? And I thought they were a buy one, get one half price. But apparently those are not buy one, get one half price. And when I look online, these are also not buy one, get one half price online anymore either. Although they were on Sunday. So I don't know if they've had so many curbside orders that they changed that. But it's still way better of a deal online. There are so many things that are way cheaper online. Those big revolutions were buy one, get one 50% off online. And they were like, $5.59 instead of $7.99 in store. I did my order at a different store because number one, I bought all of the um, zebra pens at my store. So my store was then sold out and I wanted to do that. I bought a rebate again and those are 25% off online and same thing in store. But I found a store that actually has the zebra mechanical pencils. My store does not carry those. And funny, when Donna saw these on the table, she was so dang excited. She said, these are the good mechanical pencils. <laughs> so I ordered five because the Ibotta rebate is a limit of five. And unfortunately, my store only had three. So they did substitute them for the big mechanical pencils, which is totally fine. But I missed out on $2.50 in Ibotta rebates. Normally, I don't like doing curbside pickup unless I'm in the store and I can pick up my own items too or pick up my own items so I make sure everything works out. But this store is about 20 minutes from me and I was not gonna do that with this, so I did gamble with it. But of course, I allowed for substitutions. They had everything else, so it worked out fine. Of course, I would have rather had the mechanical pencils I should have put on there if the mechanical pencils weren't available to substitute for the pens. But of course, they're gonna substitute for like items. Um, then I could have got the iBattery rebates, but that's totally fine. So anyways, I also used a code online of extra 15 and it took off like $4.68. So I got my total to like 32 or $33 because I was using that store discount and I still needed to be at 25 after the store discount. So online orders are gonna look a little bit different than in store. And because I was at a new store, I went right up to where they do the curbside and I told them I need a paper receipt. Otherwise they might scan it on their handheld and you get an electronic receipt. So there's my two BIC that they substituted for me, which it looks like those were the two half price items. Um, there's my packing tape. Dang, a dollar. It says a dollar sixty-three here because again I use that fifteen percent off code. There's my um Bic Revolution for three sixty-five. My Bic Whiteout for two fifty-two. Those are two pack minis. I was so excited. Or two sixty-two. There's those. This is a ten pack of the Intensity Fine Liners. I like. I was so excited for this because. $11.49 in store, and I got two of them for $10.40. Um, and then the zebra pencils that they only had three of. I did have $1.50 off of two on the BIC, and so my subtotal was $24.82. And again, I did pay that out of pocket. I just used my PayPal debit card. I earned back $17.86 in Walgreens cash for this transaction. So that was 10 for my booster of spend 25, earn 10. Five for spending 20 on the school supplies, which is the weekly deal. And then because I did this place this order on Sunday, I had a 10% coupon that I had received last week. So I got a little bit extra there. And then I submitted to Ibotta for $9.25 back. So this little school supplies transaction was free plus a $2.29 moneymaker. If they would have had the five of the zebra products, it would have been about a $5 moneymaker. I might repeat, do a little variation because we now have some rebates on PaperMate on Ibotta. We have some rebates on Sharpie. I have one more account. I have not used that booster. I might do another curbside and take advantage of all these amazing savings. So then when I was also in the store, I remembered I wanted to get some of the storage bags while they were on sale. So there they are, buy one, get two free. I used that $5 store coupon. I had to pay 58 cents. So it was an awesome, awesome week at Walgreens. Uh, I had a $20.90 moneymaker on my Listerine transaction. 
a $2.29 on my school supplies. And then of course I paid for the bags, which was $5.58. So all in all, everything on this table was free plus a $17.61 moneymaker. So, so excited about this deal. Let me know if you've already done the school supply or if you're going to do the school supply. Highly recommend doing it as a curbside if you can. Go through Rakuten if you are a new user. Um, but if you do curbside, if it's possible for you to go in and pick up your own items, that way you ensure you get everything you want, do it that way. For me, it was not because this one store is a little bit further away. So I did take a gamble, always allow for substitutions. All right, there you go. That is what I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much and I'm gonna see you again soon. Bye.